Hello again guys, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you with another Legends of Rune Terror video. Today I want to share with you guys a Terrak and Fiora deck uh, during patch 1.11. Uh, obviously everyone's playing Lee Sin right now and that's fantastic and cool and all, but I don't really want to play Lee Sin. I'm going to play something a little bit off meta. However, 5 and 2 with the list. The list is still a work in progress. I will leave a link to the deck code in the description, etc. But take it with a grain of salt. I'm just finding it kind of cheesy at the moment and without the uh, addition of Bastion getting its pretty ridiculous buff, probably wouldn't make this deck as viable as it already is. You can call it a kind of B grade Lee Sin deck if you want, however, I versed a Lee Sin deck a couple games in a row and actually managed to take wins of it. They sometimes just can't deal with the Fiora uh, trading into the minions. It could be due to the fact that they uh, some misplays but um, yeah, Fiora is just a little crazy with Bastion as well. Anyway guys, Enjoy the games. I am streaming over on Twitch regularly. Be sure to come jump over and drop me a follow. Much appreciated. Have a fantastic day. I will see you soon. Uh, if you don't see Fiora, you pretty much just fish for it. Fiora is like going to be how we win this matchup, sort of. Without Fiora, alternatively, we can attempt to do some other unique plays but without it it gets a lot trickier which is probably why you know the variant that goes free old and goes really all in on Fiora with their brittle steels and stuff like that might be the better alternative but I tried to build this deck in a way where it can win it can win through some mid-range aspects but with a hand like this that might not necessarily be happening Especially if my opponent once again gets the 4-1 charger right now. That's going to be fantastic here. Ooh, that's new. So we've got some pretty good top decks here. I mean, Fiora is going to be fantastic if we find it. If not, we pass, unfortunately. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we found Fiora. These are dangerous lands. Why is that so bright? Jesus. Paint your feelings. Precision and grace. Okay. I can too go for a Pale Cascade here. Or is Bastion perhaps better? I think we save, we hold off on the Bastion. Alternatively, if I do Bastion, I could do Bastion next turn, right? Yeah, yeah. We can do Bastion next turn. Is he naturally running Lifeblade? That's a little interesting. Actually, I don't think we play Tarak here. I think we go Bright Steel Protector. I think we play it immediately too, just to help play around single combat. I have the tools to win this game through Fiora. I just have to make sure I execute it correctly, effectively. So I think I s stun. All right, so I'm probably gonna use the Bastion here, right? Now I get to trade off the Life Blade. Yep. And that's a flip. I 
I think we chill for now, right? Yeah. Just to make sure he taps under harsh mana. What happens if I do this? I think we just win, right? Because if he dumps Pale Cascade, he is in trouble. Yeah, repost. Repost plus single combat is just a win. <laughs> uh, cheese him. We cheese him. Lux and Tarek. Interesting. So he's probably going to do some interesting things with Bastion. And we're just hopefully going to end the game with Fiora. If we get the opportunity to. So he might be... They might skip the first couple turns. It could possibly be running Remembrance as well. Which means we should get. Never mind. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a bit sad to see. Uh, suddenly the turn just got decent. Okay. Suddenly the turn just got decent. Is it time to slap Fiora? More than likely. He can't like immediately single combat me with Pale Cascade, if that's maybe what he could be considering. So I should most of the time be able to get the Tuari to swing. Alternatively, he can Pale Cascade immediately into single combat. And that's going to be a great combination of cards here. We'll be on Repost. Honestly, I don't think I play around it. I don't know my opponent's deck, so I just assume that they don't have the answer that they would need here. Something like Repost is going to be disgusting. Yeah, this could be a, rem a Remembrance play? I don't really know what my opponent's up to. Remembrance would make a lot of sense. It makes his turret curve not as powerful, but honestly, like even if he rips like a challenger unit from the remembrance, uh, turret becomes suddenly just fine because he can grant tough, he can swing. So, how do I respond to that? Just a spacey sketcher. Nothing too fancy you can find from that. The Serpent, yeah, okay. Single combat though. I'm ready to shine. Bless the people and fear the heretics. So I could do something a little crazy here. I can single combat the Spacey Sketcher into Ranger's Resolve if he uses Pale Cascade this turn and it keeps my Fiora alive and I potentially just win the game next turn. So let's see if that plays out how I'm expecting. I'm pretty much in a great spot here if that's the line he decides to take. Bastion, however, eh, we can still survive this.
Unless he drags like that. Yeah, nothing fancy I can do here, right? I long for a worthy opponent. Yeah, nothing, nothing fancy. Let's just open up like this. We might get the cheese with the Relentless Pursuit. He wants to develop a unit, right? Wow, what a draw. I can't play Genevieve plus Repost. I can play Repost plus single combat though. So he has to be extremely careful here. If I, if I can get through this turn and he does nothing, I'll take it. I'll follow up. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna tread carefully here, not to overcommit into the Fiora. I'll take my scout turn. These woods belong to us. Honor the mountain. Let's just go for it. He's fishing for single combat. Nice, oh, nice, oh. That was really spooky. Uh, Bastion's a good sign. Whatever the 
journey brings, I welcome it. Maybe Terraria could be like a two of in this list. Spilled paint is just accidental art. I'm just gonna play around Pale Cascade here. Sonic Wave? Paint your feelings. No time to rest. Oh god. Go ahead and trade down here. See what my opponent does. It's done. Go ahead and bash in that. Yeah, let's play Terraria the Traveler here. Tomorrow, the summit. Face me. This must be a prank, right? I feel like he's just going extremely all in here. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. He can't play anything. He can't. Oh, hang on. Am I just clearing that? I am. <sighs> Which one's Fiora's one? So we, we won't use Fiora's one yet. And this game's probably just over now. I have no e and we'll definitely just open attack, right? 100%. Alternatively, I can play Genevieve and maybe look for a more aggressive route. What do I walk into? What traps do I walk into? I have no ability to buff Fiora if, I, if something turns to shit. I can buff it with HP. Let's actually play Genevieve here. GG. He kind of really played right into her post. In his position, he's probably thinking, I'm not going to have time to get Lee Sin online. I'm going to have to play somewhat loose. This card aggro, fine choice right now with how greedy some of these decks are getting. Some lists are only running like very few Mystic Shots, so I can kind of get away with playing Terraria on the field, I think. Floating mana turn one opens up some ranges resolve. Uh, so I think in this matchup, I'm going to attempt to win through Fiora. Discarding rummage there is pretty standard if you have no other discard targets. So no jury rig or flame chompers for my opponent. And safely assume. This turn's quite important, right? I'll play Fleetwood here. Oh, it is a great day for a okay, so we did know that he didn't have Drew Rig and stuff before, but he might be about to rip it out. Potentially playing Fiora here. I can run into a bit of troubles if I play Fiora here. I may just play. Bright Seal Protector for now. Alternatively, I can tank a fair bit of damage this turn. By my honor, you must die. 
Yeah, let's just slap down Fiora. Let's probably tank a certain amount of damage this turn without having to use... Wow, is this even... That's probably just fantastic for us. Mm. You know, we're chilling. We'll take that. That's fine. And we have a power play next turn, right? Yep. I've got a lot of interesting plays I can make this turn. Tawari's kind of pog. Let's swing with all and let's see what happens. I do want to just grant the Fiora the HP. This is going to really open up Fiora to becoming a Wigan Edition. If he's about to... So he looks like he's about to like possibly Mystic Shot. Let's see it. This really opens up Ranger's Resolve. Five. So I can use the Pale Cascade here, yes? Is there an outplay for doing this versus... I'm trying to think of what the difference here is. Ranger's plays around... Vision. Rangers plays around Vision and also saves Matawari. All right, let's do that. Oh wait, what? Oh, fuck. Okay, I see what's happened here. Uh, that's a slight misplay. Because he flips here, right? off the first strike. What's my name? So it, it truly made no difference how I played this out. Pale Cascade just means I killed a Draven, so that was a misplay. Fuck! It's okay, that's okay, we can make... So Pale Cascade was 100% play there. I um totally didn't acknowledge that Draven was going to flip off that attack. Like, even just clearing the Draven here is a fantastic position for us. Now we're in a little bit of an awkward spot. Tarek's a pretty good find, though. The sump rock got me good. Him developing is pretty good for us as well. Just uh, a bit of a disappointing line there. Like, playing the Pale Cascade would have been huge. Just clear the Draven. We are in a fantastic position. I want to protect my bird. Okay, fair enough. Okay. This game, yeah, this game does look completely different. Honestly. Let's go ahead and play the Mentor here. He's got no more Dravens left, so that's a pretty good sign for us. Uh, yep. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? So, Pale Cascade onto the Tarek. Alternatively, I can single combat here because he's trying to clear it so I don't clear the Draven. He must not have Jinx in hand. I 
Again, I find myself in a weird position where I can either buff the mentor. In this position, I think we actually go ahead and buff the mentor with the Pale Cascade and Swing. Alternatively, I do this, but I think the card draw is far more important right now. So let's go ahead and do that. All he has is like 15,000 spinning axes in his hand. Looks like he's going to go ahead and clear the mentor. Alright, we have another Fiora Wincon in our hand. Cool, so he's in top deck mode. Uh, our top deck's probably uh, a little bit more higher value than his. However, that might be incorrect. We'll see. We will see. Alright. Cool. So he's in trouble. Alright, we have made that one misplay that should have cost us the game unfortunately enough our opponent yeah like if we just pale cascade there we're just like taking over the game 